2021 gives us a fresh start to a new year. In Maryland, that fresh start often includes some fresh air. WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison took a first day hike on the first day of this new year. We've all been stuck inside for months, so why not get outside for some time with Mother Nature? Actually, the Department of Natural Resources encourages taking a hike. It's part of their first day hike program. On the first day of the year, they want people to take advantage of Maryland's beauty and take advantage of the state parks. Maryland's got a great park system. You know, we've been out to Rocky Gap out in western Maryland, to, uh, um, all the, you know, Catoctin uh, Mountain Park, uh, all over Maryland. Uh, some of the ones on the eastern shore, even out to Delaware, Rehoboth, and places like that. So This is a tradition for the Whitaker family. They understand the weather may not be perfect, but it's always enjoyable. I believe in exercise and getting out in nature, and my son, we're trying to introduce him to all the different elements of nature, seeing all the animals. Like most of us, Liam gets a kick out of seeing the wildlife in our parks. Mostly deer, and I saw some birds. Bars, movie theaters, and restaurants, they're all difficult to handle now, so it's a new year. Why not make hiking a new entertainment? Because it helps get you centered and think about what's really important in life. Well, it's, it's just relaxing, and it's... Uh, a way to explore nature. Dennis Dame and his wife came to Sandy Point State Park to take some pictures and start the year off right. And it's just a way to, again, to get some exercise and see what nature's about and see what the weather's about because every day is different with the weather, certainly. And, and that's the beauty of getting out to the parks. You can go to the same place several times and see something different every time. Since the first was on a Friday, this program extends all weekend long and that should make it a picture-perfect start to 2021. Don Harrison, WMAR2 News.